What's up geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video. I apologize about the quality. I apologize about the sound. Um, still in Orlando. I know I haven't been producing much content lately um, because clearly myself and Ivan Ortega are uh, running around Disney trying to get some really cool footage. I am tired as hell. This place will wear you out. I will cover that in a video where I'm talking about um, you know if you're coming down here to vacation but that's not what this video is about this video is about an SJW on games radar getting on his woke box and proving that he's never ever played video games before in his life and now he wants to talk about this battlefield 5 situation so he can show how woke he is by showing how much he respects women because you have to respect women right it's it's part of being an SJW. Now, I'm not going to obviously be able to edit a lot of things together when I'm talking about this article, but I will link the article. But the title, the title is some of the stupidest shit I have seen in a long time. And it shows me that this person doesn't play video games, doesn't know anything about video games, or if they have ever played video games, they're just pretending to be ultra woke just so they can show how much they respect women. So the title is I never imagined just how powerful it would feel playing as a woman in Battlefield 5. What the fuck are you talking about? So I'm going to get down to a, a point in this article. And, and it's just it's just unbelievable. Like, the, the stupidity is, is insane. It says, hearing female voices cry out, over the tank growls, grenades and gunfire is an insane experience in something like Battlefield. What? What are you talking about? And then we get to the point where it says, uh, hang on, I gotta find it here, because I'm totally not prepared. Um, okay, so it says, uh, you're not just a female form, but closer to a living, breathing woman, one who feels pain, gets killed, just as you have with male avatars for years previously. Honestly, I had no idea what kind of difference it would make for me as a player. Have you ever played another video game in your life, you douchebag? Have you ever played Street Fighter? You can play as a woman. Have you ever played Metroid? Have you ever played Tomb Raider? Have you ever played Resident Evil? What the hell have you been doing for the last 20 years in gaming if this is the first time you've ever experienced being a woman? You're a liar is what you are. Okay, You are trying to act like this is breaking down some wall when it's not breaking down any wall. Nothing has changed other than the fact that EA is changing history just to appease douchebags like you. That is what's happening. You're acting like this is the first time in the history of video games that you've ever been able to play as a female. This is so dumb. This is why people don't take you seriously. This is why Battlefield 5 is going to fail because the idiots like you are the ones that are going to try to promote this game. When real gamers, gamers that have been playing video games for years, understand that there's not a problem with female characters. There's not at all. They're not ultra special and they're not bad. They're just whatever. It should just be treated as something normal. But people like you, people like EA, people like the EA executives, they want to treat it like it's something special and it's something different and it's something that's breaking down barriers. It's not breaking down any barriers because it's been happening for years and nobody's had a problem with it. No one. When, find me the last person that boycotted a Metroid game because Samus was a female. It never happened. It's one of the greatest video game series in the history of the industry, and no one's ever had a problem with it. Nobody had a problem with Tomb Raider. Nobody had a problem with playable characters being female in the Call of Duty games. Nobody had a problem with Chun-Li in Street Fighter. Nobody had a problem with all the female characters in Mortal Kombat. This is just another opportunity for social justice warriors to get up on their woke box and pretend that they care, which, what's this guy's name? This guy's name is Sam Loveridge. Okay, first of all, it's a stupid name. Secondly, um, I, I would ask Sam, have you ever played any other video game in your entire life? Or is this the first time you've shown interest in video games because you can get on your social justice box and you can preach to the high heavens how much you respect women? That's what I would like to know. Because if you've ever played another video game in your life, then you're basically doing what uh, all the SJWs did with Black Panther, pretending it was the first 
movie that ever featured prominent black characters in prominent roles. When that was not the case, they ignored every other movie that came before it because they wanted to use this to push their narrative. You're using this to push your narrative, to show how much you respect women. And you know how I feel about that. The more a man, a grown-ass man, tries to get on social media or the internet and try to show how much he respects women, if, if, I guess you're a male feminist, those are the types of people I don't trust. So that's how I feel about this. I'll link the story below. Again, I apologize for the uh, lack of quality. Uh, I hope this the sound is okay. I'm recording from my phone. Uh, we've got a lot more work to do here in Orlando. So once I get back home towards the end of this week, I'm going to have a lot of catch-up content to do here on the channel. So I appreciate all of you tuning into the live streams and, uh, you know, just uh, check me out on Twitter and you'll be able to catch up uh, or follow me there so you can keep up with what all we have going on. But I just woke up. I'm tired as hell. And I just saw this article because Ivan shared it with me yesterday. And I'm like, oh my God, what kind of stupidity is that headline? So anyway, you guys have a great day and we will talk to you later.